Now, this year has been a challenge on many fronts, of course. Uh, since taking office, President Trump and Republicans in Congress have made taking health care coverage away from millions of families their number one priority. And if you think about that, making that your number one priority, not to create greater opportunity for health care coverage, but to take away health care coverage for millions of Americans. And there's only one reason that the Republican crusade to repeal the Affordable Care Act has failed so far, and that's all of you, all of our leadership, all of our average citizens who have said, I'm not going to stand by and let my health care be taken away from me. Citizens, advocates, patients across our country, the American people refused to stay silent. They spoke out, and the American people fought back. I spent much of 2017 crisscrossing the state of New Jersey meeting with families to talk about health, what health care means to them. And time and time again, I was moved by their courage and their willingness to share with me the most personal health care struggles they were facing. I met with cancer survivors who depended on the Affordable Care Act's protections for people with pre-existing conditions. Without it, they'd be uninsured and out of luck should their cancer ever come, uh, out of ever come out of remission. I met with recovering addicts who credit Medicaid expansion with helping them survive the opioid epidemic and get their lives back on track. I met with the parents of children who were born with heart defects, with severe asthma, with disabilities that require expensive treatments. Before the Affordable Care Act, the health insurance industry could invoke lifetime limits on a young child whose life was just getting started. It was because ordinary Americans stood up and spoke out that Republicans failed to repeal the Affordable Care Act. But that didn't stop the Trump administration from doing everything in its power to sabotage it from within. Out of pure spite, this administration cut the open enrollment period for healthcare.gov by more than half. For the first time, open enrollment ends on December 15th, meaning that consumers who fail to sign up by that date will find themselves uninsured in 2018. It also has slashed cost-sharing subsidies that help low-income Americans afford their deductibles, sending shockwaves throughout the marketplace that industry has confirmed is driving up premiums for hardworking families. And to top it off, President Trump has cut funding for marketing around enrollment. Instead of getting the word out about open enrollment, he's trying to keep the word uh, from actually taking place. That's why I'm here today with uh, all of these advocates, uh, with Congressman Sirius, uh, with Joan Quigley, who sees the challenges of families every day in terms of health care struggles, with Mayor Rocco, who's also a doctor and understands these things as it relates from the patient side, and with so many health care advocates who understand what's at stake here. President Trump and his administration are actively working to sabotage the health insurance marketplace. They are actively betting that if they can keep open enrollment a secret, if they force insurers to raise their premiums, if they inject uncertainty into the marketplace, more and more Americans will automatically go uninsured. President Trump is rooting for higher uninsured rates, higher premiums, higher deductibles in order to say that the Affordable Care Act fails. It's the most cynical approach to government that I have ever heard of. And to top it off, Senate Republicans are now trying to sneak a death blow to the Affordable Care Act into their misguided tax plan, a tax plan that hurts middle class families in New Jersey and throughout the country, puts a huge debt on the next generation of Americans, all to pay for permanent tax cuts to corporations, but to have individual tax cuts expire in short order. The American people deserve better. They deserve better because the indisputable fact is that no one wins when more families go uninsured. No one wins when our workplace is less productive because people don't have the coverage they need to stay healthy. No one wins when hospitals have to jack up health care prices for all of us in order to cover their losses when uninsured Americans come knocking at their door and in their emergency room. No one wins when the greatest most powerful nation on earth fails to provide every family with access to affordable health care coverage. So get covered. 
Get the word out. Keep fighting back. That's what today is all about. Keep fighting back and get enrolled by the deadline.